Um, I, I like very much this framework because I think it clarifies a lot of things and, uh, and I think has a lot of promise in terms of developing further theory. But I'm going to be a bit boring and go back to the demand issue again. I, I would suggest that the best word to insert would be realizable plan, okay? Um, yeah. Rather than realistic, realizable in the sense that you can obtain all the necessary conditions mm -hmm. as an intention and objectively as possible. Um, and th th this, this of course, then begs the question of what's realizable. And um, what happens when people are in a cash flow problem? I mean, I, I remember this myself during the summer of 2007. I'd committed myself to. My wife and I had committed ourselves to certain expenditures uh, on restoring a, a, a building, and uh, we were under contract. And we said, we, "Oh, we can borrow 10k if there's a delay on this other payment on the road." We go to the bank and um, got the odd situation in the summer of 2007 of phoning head, head office. I'm an established customer, I've been there for years for a 10k loan. And I just said, "You know, oh sure, Mr. Anderson, you have it," but of course, it's the middle of a credit crunch. And the answer came out, no. Right. Yeah. Shock, horror. Okay, so what do I do? I find other means to do this commitment. So what I thought was a realizable plan yeah. uh, was probably, it was still realizable, but only on an insecure loan on my credit card at a yeah. high rate of interest. Mm. Now that would affect, I think, the dynamics a little bit. Yeah. Just like the, the planning, because you've got this kind of staggered thing. Well, what you think is realizable at time T is not necessarily realizable at time t plus one, or is realizable under different conditions. Yeah. And so you've got, and, and, and so credit crunches have had that effect. Yeah. And, and as we know from looking at ba uh, bankruptcies of firms during the recession, credit source lack of credit was one of the major reasons, which of course affects profit. But it, but, it, but it's a crunch. Is it, you, you're coasting along, expecting certain things to happen and to be obtainable, and suddenly you can't get credit. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and conditions have changed, and you bang your head against this brick wall called a bank, and there's no yield on it, and you have to find other means, or you go under. Yeah. Not, all, not all firms go under. So I think that that, that really actually puts an important new, nuance in it. Yeah. I think you do need the word realizable. Yeah, yeah, I, I very much agree agree on this uh, realizable word. Um, that's uh, totally totally what I what I meant by it. Um, what do you mean this this issue of, of liquidity? Um, that, of course, is very important. It's on the um, sort of uh, interplay between these other kind of, of um, behavioral assumptions. And um, I think you will go into liquidity a bit more. Yeah. 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 So we will hear, hear about that. Um, and the important thing I want to make here is that these business cycles can happen even independently of monetary liquidity effect. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's not to say that these uh, this explain all, all of business cycles and other effects are certainly important. Thank you. Within a special case, but you yeah. have yeah. yeah. Just to to go and to answer your question concerning what about what about the increase of the value of the house of GDP? I think the answer is it depends who owns the house and what is the accounting system used. If the house is in <coughs> is, a, is a property of a company, and the accounting system allows uh, market values in the in the uh, balance sheet. Mm -hmm. Then the increase of the of the value of the house can increase GDP because the increased value leads uh, uh, everything thing, everything else uh, the same leads to an increase in the profit of the company. Profit is uh, part of the income and therefore GDP I increases. But, uh, if it is need a discussion of uh, 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 I mean if it is of definition of GDP. Yeah, of, of course. Uh, if if you, if if uh, if it is uh, the property of a household. Who does not uh, who does not have a balance sheet? What where, where it is not um, uh, um, uh, seen in the national income accounting? Then it has, of course, no effect on on the GDP. Uh, so, but a lot of things happens within the you know, now. There's a group of people working with national with uh, accounting, and then there are people working with economic theory, and it's like two worlds today. Yes. So you make these uh, changes in definition, in accounting definitions, that are not related to theory. And I, I think that's a problem for economics because, I mean, we need their numbers to check our theories. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, well, so we need the same terminology. Yeah. As, uh, 
So okay, that's why and tried to start from the end. This question of uh, of uh, sells a home, uh, your house for the double, and you uh, use uh, the term value. So my question is, what is value? Because here, uh, if you sell your house on the market, uh, then it's the price that are uh, increasing, not the value. And uh, and uh, unless you have a a good definition of what the value is. Because uh, uh, in my uh, thinking, value is not the uh, increase of price. It's uh, uh, secondly, uh, where is the production in this system? Does production take uh, part uh, at all in this system, yeah. or is it only selling and uh, and buying? And uh, and uh, uh, concerning uh, ordinary. Uh, national accounting. I agree with you that uh, if it's a private person that sells uh, a house, you, it's not mirrored in, uh, in, uh, in the GDP. But uh, what is taking uh, place here is a transfer of value between value that has already been, uh, been uh, produced between different persons. And, uh, and you also use uh, the term capitalism in uh, your discussion. Uh, and one thing I uh, liked very much from, uh, from uh, Horschen's uh, book is his uh, sharp definition of what he means by capital. Capital is not everything. It's capital is uh, money used for uh, productive, uh, productive uh, uh, Ends, so to speak, and uh, s s for instance, uh, I like this critic of, uh, of uh, absurdities in uh, using capital, like uh, social capital, the human capital, and all this. And uh, here, I think that uh, capital, in that uh, meaning, is mixed up with wealth. Which, which is not uh, necessarily capital. Wealth is ca can be used as capital, but it's not capital until the lady with the uh, diamond necklace sells it and invests in uh, some productive uh, 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 investment like uh, production of uh, services or goods. Or, uh. So uh, my question is uh, also, uh, as I said, there is production in this system, and uh, and uh, re uh, realizable. Uh, I think that it's very important what you say, because because uh, bonds is something else. And uh, uh, to borrow, what is what is uh, uh, conditions for borrowing? Either you have to have a cash flow that you present in a liquidity budget to the bank, and they say he is earning a lot of, uh, of cash he, he can have uh, alone. Or you have to have collateral in, uh, in uh, property that you have to, uh, or uh, you then have either to show th uh, that you have sufficient income, or you have to, uh, to have uh, Property that can be be used as, uh, as collateral, and uh, so <coughs> the notion of uh, of um, the notion of uh, of uh, re what is what can be realized in uh, uh, in uh, this context is uh, a notion that we have to. Well, it uh, has a lot of, uh, of uh, meaning for economic uh, activities in uh, the society. And, uh okay, I, I, I'm not sure if I can remember everything. Okay, um, at first, uh, the theory of, of value. Uh, we basic, basically use here the, the accounting value. So, so what is the, the value written in the balance sheet, essentially? And 
It depends a little bit, again, on the de accounting system, uh, what you use here. The, the sort of German accounting, for example, is here a little bit more conservative than the um, Anglo-Saxon uh, version. Um, but it's uh, mostly the exchange value. So we're really talking more about prices than about some inherent value. And um, the thing regarding production, um, well, production is uh, basically um, uh, the, the production of new, new property rights, new things you have the property rights on. Um, and then this way it, it fits in here. Um, and the definition of capital, well, um, we like to, to use a slightly different definition of, of capital than, than what mostly, than what Marx, for example, is doing. We like to use um, the, the right-hand side of the balance sheet as the definition of capital. But I think you, you more thought of the, the means of uh, production. Um, and uh, what was, yeah, um, again, the, the thing about, um, um, about, about credit, about access to credit, um, I, I deliberately, deliberately, deliberately uh, abstracted from liquidity things here to, to focus on, on other aspects, but they are certainly important. Yeah. But, uh, if you don't mind, we might continue the discussion yeah. informally, uh, having some coffee uh, outside, taking a little break before we come back for Johannes and Shalom. <coughs> <coughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.